am Miss Gladeline A. Pedregosa, your teacher in technology and livelihood education. You can just call me Mom Pedregosa. Today, we are going to learn about computer system servicing. To begin my lesson, I am going to ask questions for you to answer. Have you ever tried to enter a computer shop? Or you already have a computer set inside your house? If your answer is yes, I want you to identify the following pictures. First picture, what is this? Very good, that is a monitor. Next picture, we have, what is this? Good, this is a keyboard. Next picture, what is this? This is a mouse. Very good. Next picture, what is this? Yes, that is a printer. For our first activity, I want you to arrange the different parts of computer and you are going to place it on a table. Can you do it? Here's what you're going to do. You're going to arrange the different parts of computer on the table. Point out the... Monitor, keyboard, CPU, and mouse. Now, where are you going to place the monitor, keyboard, CPU, and mouse? Is this correct? Correct! Next, where is the headphones? Where can we place the headphones? Is it correct? Correct! Next! Where is the speakers? Where are we going to place the speakers? Is it on the top of the table beside the monitor? Correct! Next! Where can we place the printer? Can you point the printer? Very good. Where can we place the printer? Is it beside the speaker? Yes, correct! And last, where can we place the webcam? Is it at the top of the printer? Or is it beside the CPU? on the top of the monitor yes on the top of the monitor correct awesome if you answer the activity correctly i am sure that you already know how to take care of your computer but what if there will be a time that our computer will look like this have you encountered this kind of problems There are times that you need to dismantle your laptop or your computer to fix a certain problems like this. Of course, you need the right set of tools. You can build your own computer repair toolkit with these recommended tools to easily perform any hardware troubleshooting, upgrade, and maintenance to your computer. I have here the list of hand tools and equipment. They have four classifications. The first one is the electrostatic discharge. The second one is the hand tools. Next, cleaning tools and diagnostic tools. We have first the anti-static wrist wrap. The anti-static wrist wrap looks like this. And it is used to prevent ESD damage to your computer equipment. Next, we have anti-static mat. Looks like this. 
and it is used to stand on or place hardware to prevent static electricity from building up. Next, we have the hand tools. Under the hand tools, we have flathead screwdriver. A flathead screwdriver looks like this. The tip looks like this. And it is used to loosen or tighten slotted screws. A slotted screw looks like this. A minus sign. Slotted minus sign. Always remember that. Next, we have the Phillips head screwdriver. A Phillips head screwdriver looks like this. And it is used to loosen or tighten cross head screws. Cross head screws. Always remember, Phillips head screwdriver is used for cross head screws. Next, we have torque screwdriver. A torque screwdriver looks like this. And the tip of the torque screwdriver looks like this. It is very unique because... It is used to loosen or tighten screws that have a star-like depression on the top, a feature that is mainly used for your laptops. Next, we have the hex driver. A hex driver looks like this. As you can see, a hex driver has a tip like this and it is used to tighten nuts in the same way that a screwdriver tightens the screw. Next, we have the needle nose pliers. A needle nose pliers looks like this and it is used to hold small parts. That's why the tip of the needle nose pliers is very small. Next, we have the wire cutter. A wire cutter looks like this. By the name itself, a wire cutter is used to strip and cut wires. Tweezers. A tweezer is used to manipulate small parts. Next, we have part retriever. A part retriever looks like this. The use of the part retriever is to retrieve small parts from a location that is too small for a hand to fit. Next, in hand tools, we also have flashlight. I am very sure that most of you are familiar with flashlight. Flashlight is not just only a hand tool used in computer. You should also have it in your home because a flashlight can be used in emergency. So, a flashlight is also used in computer. It is used to light up dark areas. Next, we also have cleaning tools. Under the cleaning tools, we have... Lint-free cloth. It's not just an ordinary rug because it is used to clean different computer components without scratching or leaving debris. Next, we also have compressed air. A compressed air looks like this. The purpose of the compressed air is to blow away dust and dirt from different computer parts without touching the component. Next cleaning tool, we also have cable ties. A cable ties looks like this. By the name itself, it ties all the cable and bundle it neatly inside and outside of a computer. Next, we also have in the cleaning tools, parts organizer. A parts organizer is very familiar because it looks like an orokan inside your house. It is used to hold screws, jumpers, fasteners, and other small parts to prevent it from mixing together. Next, we also have the diagnostic tools. In diagnostic tools, we have multimeter. A multimeter looks like this. The purpose of the multimeter is to test the integrity of a circuit and the quality of electricity in computer components. Look back adapter. A look back adapter looks like this. 
this kind of adapter is used to test the functionality of the computer. In the electrostatic discharge, we have the anti-static wrist wrap and anti-static mat. In hand tools, we also have flathead screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, torque screwdriver, hex driver, needle nose pliers, wire cutter, tweezer, part retriever, and flashlight. In cleaning tools, we also have lint-free cloth, compressed air, cable ties, and parts organizer. And last but not the least, we have the diagnostic tools, multimeter and look back adapter. So those are the tools that you can use for your computers. Now, let's check what you have learned from our discussion. I want you to get your notebook and answer the activity. I will be giving you 3 minutes to answer it. Directions. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Check your answers. Number 1, B. Number 2, B. Number 3, B. Number 4, B. Number 5, D. For those who got 5, awesome! Yay! And for those who got 3 below, it's okay. It means that you need to study your module so that next time you will get a higher score. Always remember that you can build your own computer repair toolkit with these recommended tools to easily perform any hardware, troubleshooting, and maintenance to your computer. Also, 
tools and equipment must be properly maintained to provide a safe environment. Oops! Don't forget that before repairing, cleaning, or maintaining any devices, first, you need to turn off and unplug the power source. Safety first! <laughs> Let's apply what you have learned today. Look around your house and try to find tools used in computers. Draw at least four tools and write their uses in your notebook. I will be giving you 20 minutes to do the activity. Use the scoring rubrics as your guide. The student expectation, the possible points, then rate yourself, and last, I will give you my rating.
time is up. After doing your activity, take a picture of your work and send it to our messenger group chat. So for your assignment, I want you to get your notebook. After copying and answering it, I want you to take a picture and send it to our group chat in messenger. our lesson today. I hope that you learned something from our lesson and that you will apply it someday if you are going to repair a computer and today to maintain the computer that you are using in your house. Always remember to stay safe and don't go outside. Again, I am Mom Pedregosa and I am your teacher in PLE. See you next meeting! Bye class!